I will present you the fuel cell powered electric pudding shear developed by Prague Industries for education purposes. It is a package including several components, the main one being the fuel cell genset. Through the clear casing you can see the fuel cell, but as well the electronic management system and the hybridization system with supercapacitors. Ok, on the side of the box you can see the hydrogen tank and the analog data link to perform data logging with the PC software included. On the other side are the power plugs for the pruning shear. The genset is fairly easy to start and we'll see that afterwards. Of course, part of the set is the pruning shear. Because of its didactic use, it is packaged in a clear casing protecting the user from cuts. And finally, there is the PC software for data logging and analysis. The genset is very easy to start up. Once the hydrogen tank is attached to the gas inlet, the first step is to open the manual valve and then simply press the start button. It is interesting to note that the system is self-powered. There is absolutely no other energy source in the system than the hydrogen in the tank. I will now start the data logging. Ok, data acquisition is now up and running. So you can see on the left side of the screen real-time data on the system diagram. You can read, for instance, oxygen and hydrogen consumption rate, voltages at the fuel cell, at the controller board, at the DC-DC converter, super caps, and pruning shear. Currents and powers at all the stages as well. So, for practical exercises, one task will be to cut wood sticks of uh, various diameters. Doing this, we will observe the behavior of the protein shear in regards to the response given by the fuel cell genset. We will check immediately what happened during this run by observing the graphical display. The graphs give a good overview of the evolution of parameters during the cuts. Here the voltage of the fuel cell and supercaps, now the currents and powers delivered at the supercaps, at the converter and at the fuel cell. So to summarize, uh, thanks to the included software and data logging, it is possible to study every aspect of the fuel cell system. Energy conversion, uh, power and energy, fuel usage, efficiencies at all stages in the system, from the hydrogen storage to the fuel cell and down to the pruning shear. With this system, you will be able to study more cross-disciplinary technical and economical topics like energy storage and the different methods for storing hydrogen, hybrid architectures and fuel cell coupling with supercaps or batteries together with system dimensioning, uh, comparing different means of storing and dispensing energy, and also working on sustainable development through topics like product design, ergonomics, recycling, and so on.